as we enter into praise and worship and giving thanks to the Lord, it's really important, I think, to note that this is actually part of the the way that you and I and the Lord gains access into the deepest parts of us. That that's part of what's behind this longing that's being con, that's being communicated in Psalm 63. We've got it, here's the, what the psalmist David says in this, and it's important to say that he's in the wilderness at this point in time when he's saying this, and so he says, "You God are my God, earnestly I seek you." I thirst for you, my soul, my whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. I have seen you in your sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. And because your love is better than life itself, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live and in your name I will lift up my hands. I will be satisfied, fully satisfied as with the richest of foods with with singing lips my mouth will praise you what's what david is is part of what david is getting at is in these low places in, in in our lives that when we begin to pour out worship our worship our praise our thanks and when we begin to do that the dynamics of our soul changes and we become in touch with the true longings of our heart that that the deep things of our heart are actually accessed most beautifully most profoundly as we worship god i remember uh, years ago when i was just starting to learn this and i would be in these in, in these worship services where we'd be singing these simple songs of love to god and simple songs of love uh, of god's love for me and as i sang it i just i cried my guts out and i'm like what is going on inside of me and as i i learned kind of going forward that as i as I began to sing to the Lord, I began to open my heart to him and the deeper things of my heart became uh, much more aware. I became aware of those things and and the, the parts of God's love that tenderize me over and over again would melt me over and over and over again. I mean, it's still, it still happens I'd say every other time of worship that I, we have when we gather together, every other time when I'm worshiping by myself with the Lord, I just start to, to tear up because I melt at the love God has for me.